reviews. What's going on? What's going on? All right, let me set this right here. Oh, yeah, you see it. You see it. Dang, I can't get my finger together. You see it. Just in case y'all thought I was just a fan out here. Anyway, man, what y'all got going on today? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Space Jam 11 Lowe's is dropping today. Y'all grabbing them? What we looking like? What we looking like? Um, I'm actually sitting here looking through some things, trying to make some decisions. I think that looks fine, right? That looks cool. Okay. So, yeah, man. Y'all let me know in the comment section if y'all on y'all way to grab them. Um, we're going to hit the streets. And we'll see where we land. I actually got a couple things I'm checking in on right now. I got a package here some gear that came actually pretty quick uh, in lieu of the WNBA season. You feel me? I actually wanted to grab something a little different than um, some of the team gear that I typically would, would grab. So, got that Chicago Sky Shattered Glass tee. And this is straight from a uh, player society actually so it is a black owned woman owned um, apparel company so um, the owner she definitely has some dope stuff going on with this particular uh, with this business so y'all go ahead and grab y'all some stuff she had more than this on there um, she actually has the one that also has uh, a separate one for Angel Reese and a separate one for Camilla Cardoso but um, Cardoso sorry but I wanted to get me just that Chicago Sky joint. Um, she got one too for Teresa Witherspoon, who is the coach. If y'all don't know Teaspoon, baby. If y'all don't know Teaspoon, y'all gotta go and do your little research, you know. Super excited to have her in Chicago, so. But yeah, so I grabbed this. Um, I do know that, obviously she has other teams and other players and um, other things that are geared around the WNBA, but um, I know that she also has a partnership with Dick Sporting Goods, so um, might have to stop by there and see, you know, what other pieces are there. I think this is one of the shirts for Chicago Sky that's there, so I think it's supposed to be a whole little collection um, that actually launched, obviously, ahead of the, the season. So this is Saturday. The season started this past Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I'm just grabbing my little extra little pieces uh, for the season. And, um, yeah, back to these 11 lows. Y'all let me know because I feel like, you know, it might be a little bit of a waste for me. Um, considering I do still have a very good, very good version of the high pair that came out what was that was that 2016 2017 something of that nature you know, da, da, da. You, you know you you know how it go um and to be honest with you i can't tell you the last time i wore these especially because i have the 72 tens and i wear the mess out of the 72 tens um particularly because they don't mean as much to me as the Space Jams. And, um, you know, it kind of preserves these a little bit. I did, I did follow what we considered the standard to kind of keep these preserved. I haven't gotten fancy with the new. I know there's companies now that make like the little suction bags and stuff now, but uh, I ain't that advanced yet. So, y'all let me know, man. I feel like I'm still in good shape. I feel like I'm still in, in pretty good shape, man. For every reason I wasn't focusing for a player, but um, yeah. Bottoms still super duper clean. Obviously, heel drag is something you can't really, you can't really escape heel drag like that, even if you clean them. Um, and I'm I'm not one that rushes to clean my kicks, but uh, this is actually one of the pairs that's definitely for sure clean. Definitely for sure clean. Um, I think I probably wore these maybe like definitely less than five times. 
I, I can't really even give you a number because I think I may have only worn them. I may have only worn them once or twice, to be honest with you. You know, we, we got to be honest now. Um, but yeah, man, what, what y'all is looking like? Are y'all are y'all in good shape like mine? You know, do I really need lows? Talk to me. Cause what I'm thinking, I figure like this. I mean, if I can get if I can get the lows for the low, then maybe, then maybe we own something. So I heard, or per multiple um, social media pages, <laughs> that uh, the flu games got canceled. Dang, why am I? I'm tripping. Anyway, so the flu games got canceled. And um, it's another one where I'm like, cause they were supposed to drop, what were they saying? Like spring of 2025. So these jokers was supposed to drop when? Next year. And I'm still sitting on these and I'm like, dang, everything is just coming back around like super quick. Well, to me, I mean, it's been seven years, seven, eight years. Um, so another pair that uh yeah i don't really need uh yeah i ain't clean the bottoms of these so yeah forgive me still in a good spot i wore these probably maybe five times so i mean it's not like a not any better than space jams not any better than the space jams so but anyway yeah I got some work to do in terms of getting some of these war. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think I might put on the space gems just because everybody's out trying to grab lows right now, which I mean, I don't imagine it'll be a hard thing to do, but I'm just saying for the simple fact that, you know, I mean, let's, let's just let's just flex on them for a little for for a little bit, you know, while we out running these errands and seeing what we might stumble upon. I do want to check out one spot to see if they do have a pair that I'm looking for. Not the living low, something else. Um, but we'll go in. It's a it's it's not a um, it's basically like a retail boutique um, or a retail shop, not even a boutique. So they're not like a retail store like the. The spot the spit out okay so we'll see if they have what i what i need um they don't open till 11 so i'm just trying to sort of kill time but i do have some errands in between so we're gonna go ahead and get to that all right <laughs> oh yeah so in last week's chronicles if y'all recall bought these for my nephew to try to get ahead of the game on his birthday and um per my community post a couple days later, I found out this little joker. After I didn't set up on that video and said I was a thousand percent sure he was not going to see the video. Little buddy called me. He said, "I saw the Kobe's TT." <laughs> he said, "I saw." The well, no, he said I saw the shoes. I was trying to act like I didn't know what he was talking about. I'm like, "What you talking about? What shoes? The Kobe's." Really? <laughs> I was like, well, do you like them? He was like, they're good. And with him, that means that he likes them. So, um, so yeah, basically, one of my errands is to go ship these off because now, obviously, it's not a surprise for his birthday. So I'm going to go ahead and ship them off so he can just go ahead and start wearing them and uh, hooping in them and doing all of the things. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick. <laughs> yeah. Where my, where my Burt's Bees heads at, you know? Y'all ever have to like double and triple check even after you know for a fact you got them in your pocket, your bag, whatever the case before you walk out the house. But as you're walking out the house, you still check again. Then when you get back in the car, you check another time. Yeah, that's me, that's me, for sure. So. Anyway, about to get on out, ship these shoes off, check out this little retail shop, see if they got a, see if they got a little heat, see what they got in there. Um, oh, I forgot to show y'all what I ended up with on feet. Did I tell y'all what my plan was? Ah, 
Okay, y'all know what it is. See you on a bit. <laughs> All right, we found us a little parking spot here. Listen, I'm oftentimes reminded of why um, I don't go a whole lot of places after a certain hour, man. I tell you, it's active, but you know, it's starting to get warm and stuff, so I, I get it. But like, just going to the post office. A simple task of going to the post office. You gotta find a damn parking spot for that. But yeah, so this little spot right here, um, they actually, they used to be like a little pop-up joint a couple years ago. And then I think they officially became a storefront shortly after that. So they actually replaced my family um, padded room who they used to be like deep south and then they moved the store to the South Loop. So um, those in Chicago, I think y'all may know what I'm talking about. So Unique Chicago is what we are about to go inside of um, and check them out real quick. And I'm putting on way too much parking time. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Yeah, so this is my first time going in since they've been an official storefront. So it's cool, cool. You can kinda see the sign right here. Unique Chicago. You feel me? You feel me? All right. Let's see if we can go straight in and do what we do. And while I wait for them, I'll show y'all actually what I ended up wearing. Cause you know I got I had to be petty. You know what I'm saying? So you know what it is, man. Keep playing with her. Keep playing with her. Okay. Thank you. Apparently they got it locked and key in here. You can't just walk up to it. Which is perfectly fine. We're in the city. We're in a major city. You know, you got to make sure the security is right. Especially when you got, you know, precious cargo in the building. So, you ready for me? All right. Thank you so much, sweetie. Appreciate you. Come to check the spot out while also flexing today. You know, you know, had to step back with it. <laughs> um, last time I was here, it was a pop-up. So that's been a couple years. Okay. Um, well, the, the store itself was a pop-up store. Before it was a storefront. So I haven't been here since it's been a storefront. If that makes sense. Yeah, they've definitely made a place of itself. Like it, it has its own style of layout in here versus the first time I ever came in here. So kind of do a little roundabout. But... You can see, you got shoes on the wall, you got clothes, you got interactive engagement stuff, they even got some call stuff up here. So, Marco! Got some call statues across the shelves here, so. But yeah, let's take a little looky look. You know, they gotta, they gotta have some Michigan lows in the building, you know what I'm saying? You know, of course we could pass that by, I don't know why that's dusty like that, but they ain't my business. They move on. Got some jeans on top there. Just trying to see if it's anything. You can see a lot of duplicates here, so you know, just taking a gander. They got some billionaire ones up there. Look like a um big step, big steppers. You know, big stepper size. They got the granddaddies over here. The A6, granddaddy A6. Yo, who, who actually works here? Okay, so I wanted to ask a question. Do you guys happen to have the um, Vimero 5 Japan? Yeah, yeah and grab those? Okay. That's what I'm looking for, looking for, but I'm also looking around. Okay. No problem, no problem. Yep. Okay, dang. They don't, they don't have what I'm looking for, but we still gonna take a little gander. Yeah, so, you know, shops like these are, are needed for that type of... I'm trying to, you know, try not to necessarily go there for stuff X and just want to see, you know, if you have a local spot you can grab something with, so, um, but yeah. So, no, you good, love. So, they do have, like, you know, some gear. Hell, Star. 
Yes, sir. I was I was looking for a specific thing, but uh, since I'm here, I'm like, you know, let me let me, cause I haven't been here since you guys uh, since they were a pop up store. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I used to come here when it was padded room. So I'm like, you know what? Let me go in here. By now they've established this place, so let me see what's up. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, Hailstar, is that like a local? Uh, uh Philly. It's from Philly. Oh, uh, okay. Hailstar, yeah, Okay. Hailstar Records, are they like affiliated with music or something like that? Uh, I'm not, uh, they do got like rappers that promote their brand, but I don't know. If okay. I got you. Y'all be on the who? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, okay. Second Adam. So a bunch of hoodies, sweatpants. Um, clearly like small business brands, which is cool. That's cool. It's better to see that than the big brands, you know. Small brand support and small brands. Got some stuff. Diplomats. I don't even know if anybody in this store is old enough to know what the diplomats is, but we're gonna roll with it. <laughs> who know who who in here knows what the diplomats are? Uh, ain't that, uh, I know who that is. Jim Jones Say it again. Jim Jones. Ah, uh, okay, okay, I see you. All right, okay, okay. I had look, I had to check y'all for a second. I had to check y'all. <laughs> There you go, see, okay. He said Cameron, all right. All right, you passed the test. Y'all passed the test today. They got some heat up in here. Y'all check out uh, Unique Chicago. They actually, they got some more gear and stuff. So it's not just the racks in the middle of the store. You know, they got some more stuff back here, back here, back here. Like I said, I told I told y'all doorman I had to come in here and flex a little bit since the lows dropped today. I had to just go ahead and you know, because I, I, I don't need them if I got the highs, right? I don't need them. So. Yeah, the highs are better to do anyway. So. Can't put that on that. For sure. <laughs> Alright, well, no Pomero 5's in here, so, but... You know, I definitely, I'll keep checking you guys out. I'm Q, Q the queen. All right, now take care, fellas. I'm out, I'm out. No problem, thank y'all. Okay, okay. So yeah, they've, uh, they've established that store a little bit more. It's actually more unique to them now. It used to just be like white walls and basically residual from padded room. When um, padded room was there, they were just kind of transitioning the store. Didn't really, you know, didn't really have their touch on it just yet, so. Woo! It's night and day compared to um last week when I had oops, when I had my coat on or a jacket on. Matter of fact, I had a hoodie and a jacket on because it was only 60 degrees. Today, woo! Today is 83 degrees. So we actually let's see if this white book be nuts. See, okay. I thought I thought I saw him uh staring for a second there. But yeah, um I'm not breathing hard because I was walking, by the way. <laughs> More so because I can't necessarily breathe right now in the car because I ain't cracked the windows. I'm not used to the heat yet. Like this just happened, like you know, this ain't this ain't like we it wasn't warm like this like that all week now. Um but anyway, yeah, so I went in there to try to find uh, the Nike Air uh, Vomero 5, the, by, the design by Japan's. Um, that's the pair that just came out, I want to say like two weeks ago, it has the big swoosh. Uh, so I'm going to have to go ahead and buy them off Goat or something. Not happy about that. Well, I mean, it don't really matter. <laughs> I was just seeing if I could look up. I know that I had a good feeling I wouldn't be able to find them at the, at this place or just any resale place because first off, it's a woman's uh, shoe. Um, it did sell out immediately, but with it being a woman's shoe, um, yeah, you're not really gonna find them at like a resale type of shop because first off, they typically try to get, you know, big sizes, which are typically men's shoes anyway. And, um, as you can see, they had like a bunch of duplicates in there. And obviously with being a resale store and when they hunt for their inventory, obviously they buy a bunch of the same stuff. So um, they just happen to put a lot of the same stuff on the shelves. But 
Yeah, man. Um, the one thing I didn't do because I was too busy uh, running my mouth and trying to test, trying to test the youngsters in the store, is uh, <laughs> if I'm sweating my bad, but I ain't got no, I don't have no napkin or nothing. I don't have nothing. Um, I'm trying to find something. Let me see. I got this random uh, Mountain Dew sleeve from back in the day, uh, from back when uh, All Star 2020 was in Chicago. So you can see it's still wrapped. So let me go ahead and, and pull that out while I'm talking. But yeah, so I was saying, I, I, one of the main things I wanted to show y'all was the prices on the shoes. <laughs> Cause when I first went, when I went to they pop up, pop up. Um, like a couple years ago when that store was not in uh, like a perm um, an official store so to speak yeah they were charging like resale prices basically for shoes that uh you otherwise oh my bad I didn't even show y'all what the it's literally just a little Mountain Dew sleeve uh, like a basketball sleeve so I meant to show y'all that so y'all can see kind of um you know the the price range that they're expecting for people to pay and a lot of folks go there that are like tourists and whatnot too so similarly to a stadium goods or a flight club when tourists and stuff come in you know you can you can throw high prices up there because you know people just kind of want to go places and buy things and it's it, they're not really doing price checking and all of that it's just hey this is cool we have the money let's buy it you know <laughs> so um, but yeah, that's unique Chicago. Um, I didn't want to put the young boys on, on the spot like that too much. I could have did the whole like, who are you, who are you, who are you? But um, I did have to test them on that diplomats because I'm like, everybody in here looked like they were born in the 2000s. So let me let me see what they talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all ended up with today. Um, at this point it's almost noon and I still got some more errands to run but before I do I'm gonna do a little segment called like the dumbest social media post of the week and it goes and I'll, I'll have this like on the screen when I'm reading it so I blocked the person's name but this was off of Facebook they said so it says the WNBA is either poorly run or mismanaged Caitlin Clark is the new face of the league rather than put her against the best teams in the league and watch her struggle they should have put her in winnable games and let the best teams play afterwards and get residual viewers she will get better but people want to see her getting buckets not getting blown out and struggling So basically, that's the dumbest post I've seen all week. Because why would you have one of the most highly sought out rookies start her career up against quote unquote what casual and new fans think are inferior teams, which none of them even know what inferior teams would be because they're not even familiar with the league. That's one. Two, you're supposed to have your best teams playing to start off the season. While people are excited about the start off of the season, you want the Aces playing. You want um, the Dallas Wings playing. You want uh, New York Liberty playing. You want Connecticut Sun playing. Like you want those teams that are playoff competitive teams, whether it's against Caitlin Clark or not. That's how it goes just in general. That's how you draw in your fans. <laughs> And you keep those fans engaged, whether it's against Caitlin Clark or not. And three, Caitlin Clark should play what you would consider, you new and casual fans would consider top tier teams. Because wasn't this whole conversation about her coming in and being better than everybody already? Like out of the gate, right? That's what, because y'all didn't know nothing about any of the players in the league. Why wouldn't she go up against the winningest women in the game? <laughs> like a Breonna Stewart. You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't she go up against who she's the 2.0 version of in Sabrina Onescu? Onescu. 
why wouldn't she go up uh, against you know Alyssa Thomas, Alyssa, Alyssa Thomas, and and Dewana Bonner, and the folks that have been there that we've enjoyed for some time, but y'all just finding out. So instead, be happy that she's playing those those uh, teams first because those teams are a part of the televised schedule, right? The televised schedule is very much intentional. It was planned for quite some time. You know what I'm saying? So the product has been there. You just have not. <laughs> and she needs to be playing these uh, championship contention type of teams so that she knows what she's up against as she's getting adjusted to the league. This girl is definitely going to be as great as what we expect her to be. But just like with any human, it's a learning curve. <laughs> so because you have never played a sport, because <laughs> that's really what it boils down to you can tell when a person has never played a sport because they think that folks can come in to any level of a game and just be great no it's a learning curve for every single person and you know what i'm saying for her she happens to be a guard there are a lot of obviously more seasoned guards who play with physicality, who have developed the strength, the power, the speed, um, a little bit more of a defensive craft, a little bit more um, offensive uh, awareness, all of the things that just comes with working on your game throughout the years. Like years actually matter, experience actually matter. There's a reason why after a while an athlete is called a veteran. <laughs> like just because you didn't know anything about the league prior to Caitlin Clark does not mean that oh have her play against the weak teams well I'm sorry to tell you her team is the weak team so what, what you want <laughs> like what are we talking about you know what I'm saying so but anyway I don't want to go too much on that. I'm about to turn the, I'm about to turn the air on. So sorry if, if it gets a little bit noisy and y'all can't hear me like uh, I would prefer y'all to, to hear me. But yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Also let me know if y'all have been enjoying the opening week of the W. Um, all of the rookies are struggling. Like it's not just her. All of the rookies are struggling and not in a struggling in a bad way, but just trying to figure themselves out like they're trying to figure out how to how to input their style into um, into a first off a new system because they're playing on a completely new team and learning new people as their teammates, right? And it's a completely different stage. It's a much bigger stage than any stage they've ever been on. These are the greatest athletes in the world. You know what I'm saying? It it goes for any professional league coming from college, which to Diana Taurasi's point, college, there's still teenagers in college. People haven't even fully grown body and mind in college. So for you to be a superstar in college is, is fantastic. Kudos to you. Keep your, your trophies shined up, you know, and, 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 and gloat at your records and accolades. But none of that really matters once you go to the pro level because it's a completely different stage and um, there's new things to learn. And so that's what we're seeing with these rookies. I think Cameron Brink is the only one that's really coming out um, most solid in terms of just an overall game. Um, but a lot of that is to do with the fact that she already has the size um, that is comparable to the pros that are already established. So outside of her size, all she has to do is just get a little bit stronger and just, you know, work on, you know, um, work on it, enhancing the, the skills that she already has. She's a fantastic stretch big. Um, and she is that height that is easily transferable, similarly to a Candace Parker, except Candace Parker was a little bit more physical. So Cameron Brink with a little bit of work can be more physical. That's really, to me, what she's missing. Um, and all of the rookies are missing that physicality, but they'll get it because now they're up against the best. So. Anyway, <laughs> I'm about to finish up my uh, my errands. I passed the post office 
twice so far trying to look for a parking spot so i'm about to go back and do that and then complete these errands and then you know finish up the day watch basketball work out do what i do all right so y'all hit me in the comment section let me know what y'all y'all have enjoyed as far as um the WNBA opening week NBA playoffs is still going but I didn't really want to touch too much on that because then it just becomes too long so I'm about to get out of here y'all let me know if y'all grab them Space Jam 11 lows and uh I'm gone until next time peace mm.